Yo, what's up guys? Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today we're talking about how to write descriptions that actually sell stuff. All right, so as you know, um, there are certain you know stages of the buying process that somebody goes through. So there's uh, you know somebody actually seeing the ad and getting to your to your website. That's like visitors. But if you have visitors and you don't have sales, a lot of that actually has to do with uh, you know your product descriptions. Could also have to do with prices, but uh, we've done videos about that, so I'm not going to talk about that here. But um, yeah, so how do you actually write product descriptions that sell? Um, basically, I'm gonna you know, drop down like three things that I think, and then we'll jump into an actual example where I, you know, kind of lay it out for you. So, um, how do you write descriptions that sell? Number one, the first thing that you need to have, and if you don't have this, it's probably not gonna work. Is it has to be relatable, okay? And a lot of people call this a hook. So um, I'll just put a hook as well. But the uh, let's see if we can make this a little bigger so we can see it. Um, but the, the product has to be relatable and the description has to relate to the person. Now, how do you do that? You have to have a product that is uh, very niche, okay? Because if the product does not appeal to a very specific person, it makes it much more difficult to relate to the person and you know, ultimately harder to make the sale. So um, you know, the, the product has to be relatable and there has to be a hook, okay? Number two is that there has to be a reason to buy, okay? Um, so we can do that through two different ways. There's, well, maybe there's more, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna talk about two different ways. Um, one is through urgency and one is through scarcity, which you've probably already heard me talk about or heard other people talk about is, um, you know, these are the two different appeals that you use to get someone to actually buy. So uh, urgency is essentially that they have to buy it right now because it's, uh, you know, only on sale for the next 12 hours, something like that. And scarcity is that there's only like X amount left. So only 20 left, only 10 left, um, you know, something like that. So when you combine the two of these, it makes it a very powerful thing. It makes somebody want to buy now as opposed to like waiting or like, you know, taking out the trash and then doing it or something because then they'll forget. So if you get them to do it now, then it's ideal. And that's the way that you can actually make the sale. And the last one, which I don't see in a lot of product descriptions, is that you have to have a call to action. Um, a lot of people also call this a CTA. Um, essentially what a call to action is, is tell the person that they have to add it to the cart. They have to, you know, buy now, they have to uh, order yours now, whatever it is, whatever your call to action is, you have to have that in the product description or else, um, you know, when, when people are told what to do, they're most, much more likely to respond than if they're not. Like, for example, if you're sending out an email and you say like, looking forward to hearing from you soon, you're probably going to get a better response rate or at least a quicker response than you would if you're just like, you know, thanks. Um, at least I've gotten that when I send emails. So, uh, yeah. So be, basically, these are the three things that we're going to look for when we're actually creating our uh, our description. So I went over here and I just imported a uh, you know a generic product here. It's this like Basset Hound ring, um, and what and we're just going to go from scratch. So uh, you know we call it the Basset Hound ring. But uh, the first thing that you want to do when you come into uh, the thing, you get all of these like you know this random information, which I see a lot of people just using this information. Uh, you know, straight up as is, not even adding any sort of product description. So uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to make our own. So first thing we have to do, we have to have a hook. We have to have something relatable. And I'm kind of just making this up on the spot. And I'm not going to really cut a whole lot because I want you to kind of get inside the mentality of how I'm doing this. Um, but we're talking to people that like basset hounds or have a basset hound. So um, let's say something like, do you love your basset hound? Uh, gotta spell it right. Question mark. Um, let's see, of course you do. Um, because now we're appealing to people that actually like, uh, you know, basset hounds, and you know, we already know the answer that they like basset hounds because we're marketing to those people. Hopefully, you did the research, right, so that you know. But we're marketing these people. We already know the question, so it's just rhetorical, and we're asking, and then we're reaffirming it. So, of course, they love their basset hound. Um, then we can, so that's our hook. Then we can jump into um, sort of, not the call to action yet, but sort of something about the product. So we can say, that's exactly why we are offering this. Uh, I usually like using adjectives like adorable, beautiful, uh, cute, stuff like that. Uh, adorable, uh, that's it, hound ring 
And this is assuming that we're doing free plus shipping. You can do 50% off, buy one, get one free, whatever you do, uh, you know, you can uh, fill in the blank here. But um, for free, I usually like putting all caps. Um, then we'll put just pay shipping. Make sure you throw that in there if you're doing a free plus shipping because you want to have people like actually know that they have to you know pay for shipping. Um, and this this is where we get into the whole urgency and scarcity thing. So um, to make to build in some urgency, we'll say for the next 24 hours only. Uh, I usually like putting that in caps. Um, and then we can go into scarcity. So um, you know, you can just make up a number, but there are only, uh, let's just say like 55 left. So get yours now before we run out, okay? And also it, it helps if you have like a countdown timer, which you can get for free. Beacon Team has a, has a free one. And I've talked about that in uh, some of my videos, I think too, like about the apps and stuff. But if you have a countdown timer that shows that, if you say there's only 55 left and then the countdown timer shows that there's like, you know, 17 or something, then people are like, whoa, people are buying these up. I should probably get mine now. So it kind of builds into the psychology as well. But there's only 55 left, so get yours now before we run out. Let's make that an exclamation point. Um, then I like to go into the features of the product. So uh, features, and you can literally just take them from, from here. Um, so let's see. And I usually like to, you know, spice them up a bit, but um, let's do this adorable basset pound ring. Not how you spell adorable. For accessorizing. I'm so terrible at spelling. <laughs> Perfect for accessorizing with any outfit. Um, let's see. High quality metal construction. I'm um, just kind of trying to build in some, some value for this so that people can, uh, you know, so it doesn't just, it's not just like a plastic, whatever. Um, and then it looks like it comes in three different options. Um, so let's say three different available, uh, available colors. And then uh, we'll say gold plated, black, and uh, what was the other one? Silver plated. Okay. And, <coughs> excuse me. So uh, yeah, that's basically the features. Now people can, can get an idea of it. Um, so we've you know established a hook. We've said what the offer is and that they should get theirs now. Here's our first call to action. Then we go over the features, just kind of reinforcing that um, you know it is a high quality product. And then I'll come in here and I'll say, um, get yours today before time runs out. Um, yeah, and that's essentially all that you need to, to actually have in that description. Uh, you know, we have one call to action, two to call, call to actions. Usually I like to mix in two, three, um, into the product description, just so they're, you know, fully aware that that's, you know, the goal that they should be buying it. So another thing that you can do that I recommend you doing if uh, you're not doing it already is you actually put in some, uh, like some sort of safe checkout badge of, of some kind and you can do it. Um, I split tested both ways. Both ways work about equally as well, but you can either put it at the end of the description or um, at the beginning. But essentially what you're gonna do is just uh, space down. You can download uh, this safe checkout just by typing in like safe checkout badge on Google. And you'll come up with a bunch of them. I've used this one, this one. Uh, they're all you know about the same, so you can use any of them. Basically what you're gonna do is here, click on the insert image button. And then uh, since I already have it uploaded, I'm just gonna click on that. Hit insert image, and then there you go. You got the uh, you know the save checkout button, and your uh, description is ready to go. So guys, if this was useful for you at all, if you found any information that you can you know implement, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, it helps me out a lot. Also hit the like. It lets me know that you like the content. Want me to continue making it on a daily basis? Because uh, we've been doing it on a daily basis, like pretty strong here for about a month. And y'all are digging it, and this channel's starting to grow a little bit, so it's pretty cool. Uh, you know, starting to grow the family. Lastly, if you have any questions or concerns or whatever, go ahead and hit me up in the comments or send me a message at Nash Hagen 
uh, on Instagram and I try to get back to you guys like as fast as possible. Pretty sure I've gotten back to everyone. As far as I know, uh, if I haven't, just message me again and I'll definitely get back to you. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you found this video valuable and I will see you guys later. I need you in the morning. Oh, oh.